We're in Switzerland in Lauterbrunnen Valley riding the public bus to Trummelback Falls. The valley has 72 waterfalls, but Trummelback is by far the most spectacular. It's really the only one that you can walk up and you actually go up inside the mountain to view the waterfall. It's the most amazing waterfall in the Alps that you'll ever see. The Swiss engineers have built elevators, staircases and walkways and viewing platforms to give you this view of this most unusual waterfall. Our genial host guides us along. Because 204 stairs to heaven. <laughs> okay. So that's right, even after you ride the elevator, you've got more than 200 steps to get to the top. A few level walkways have been carved into the crevasse to make it easier for you to get around, but nearly all of this is natural rock formations. And they built staircase tunnels to get you up higher. There are about a dozen major drops in this waterfall. So it's like looking at 10 or 12 waterfalls in one. And always there's the amazing carved and sculpted rock cliff face. This booming water pounding through. Over millennia, this huge barrage of water had carved out a, a narrow vertical twisted canyon into the rock face of the cliff. And well, the engineers thought this is an interesting opportunity to let people get up in there and be inside the waterfall itself. It's water that's coming down from the Aletsch Glacier. It's coming down from the Jungfrau Mountain where we've just been visiting. This is one of the main drains for the Eiger, the Monk, and the Jungfrau, those three big peaks that are up at the Jungfrau Massif. And yes, you might get a little bit wet from the spray as you're standing close to the edge and looking at this thundering waterfall coming down. But that's okay, just protect your camera and you're not gonna get drenched. They've designed it so that you can just get a little bit of the feeling of being inside a waterfall. And they put some colorful lights in here which might seem a little tacky. It's not really a disco ball spinning around, but it does add some welcome color to this otherwise gray stone and gray water. So that's all part of the fun. The engineers designed these interior tunnels and walkways so that you get vistas along the way. And then it opens up and you can stand at the ledge and look down, look up, see the water spraying around. And you look at it on the way up, you turn around and you come walking back down again and get different angles, different viewpoints. Now when you're coming down, you could take the elevator halfway back down to the bottom or walk all the way down and that's a better strategy because you'll see parts of the lower falls that you would have missed otherwise. And more of these wonderful views from the Trummelback looking into Lauterbrunnen Valley. On our way down, the park was closing already, so we had no choice. The elevator shut down and we had to walk all the way back down and we're glad we did. This is a very easy visit and when finished, you just walk back to the road to the bus stop and catch the next bus coming through. Now, here's a little tip. You might check the bus schedules that are posted on the board before you go into the waterfall so that you can time your visit. Uh, buses are not all that frequent. And if you know when the next bus is coming and you can then linger in the waterfall or hustle out a little bit in order to catch that bus. Otherwise, you might have to sit around and wait for a half an hour at the bus stop for a bus to come through. You could also very easily walk from Trommelbach back down to Lauterbrunnen town. There's a nice riverside trail that will take you about 45 minutes, a very easy level stroll through beautiful scenery. Or you can just walk along the roadway and that'll be quicker, maybe 20 to 30 minutes to walk from Trommelbach to Lauterbrunnen. So take your pick, but if you've timed it right, the bus arrives and it'll pick you up and bring you back to the town of Lauterbrunnen, which is only about a 10 minute bus ride from this point. We have a large series of movies about Interlaken and other parts of Switzerland on our website and our YouTube channel. Have a look.